Hi everyone, so I'm going to be showing you how to um, set up an app on Expo where you can actually upload certain images on Firebase. So I've already created the default template for um, Expo, which you can find down in the description below, so you don't have to reinstall everything, you can just directly download it. But if you want to know how to actually recreate it on your own, I'll also put a link down below on what packages to install to start from fresh when you create an Expo app and you want to have these change pages uh, or screens with the stack navigator. And I'm going to be adding this screen called Photos where we're going to be allowing um, our application to take a photo and then upload it to Firebase. So since we have the page set up here, you can see that on our application, we are on the screen called Photos and it says Photos Area, which is just right here as well. And what we wanna do is we actually wanna set up the camera. So whenever we scan the QR code, it will automatically open up the camera and we could take photos. So let us actually um, import a few more things here at the top so we can get this all set up. So now that we got the basics at the top set up, let us actually um, set up the permission of the actual camera. Um, in order to actually set the permissions up, I'm just going to close this area here, the terminal, um, because we actually need to get permissions to access the camera. And in order to do that, um, we have to read the Expo documentation for camera. So if we read this um, documentation right over here on the camera, you can see that if we scroll down, we need to install the Expo camera um, in order for this to work. So let's copy this here. And I'm just going to end that server right there. And I'm going to install it. So once this is done, um, we just need to, we can also look back at the actual documentation and it shows us here um, what we need to actually import. So we already imported these parts at the top over there. Um, as you can see in our code, which are right here, the camera and camera type. And now we have, uh, this one should be ref right there use ref and use state. So we got those two set up there. And what we want to do is we want to actually start giving the permissions to the camera. So in order to give permissions to the camera, um, we can check the documentation here. And you can see here that we can use the camera type back. So if you want the back camera or front camera, we can actually specify. Um, but let's actually, let's just set up this part use camera permission. And I'll just add a uh, use ref here. And I'm just gonna set up a use state as well so we could um, save some information. So this is just a default image in case nothing was captured. I'm just gonna have that at the top here. I'm also gonna set up um, the two different use states for saving the email and password. And what we want to do is we do need to handle the capture of the actual image. So 
let's actually first set up the area um, where the image will actually be captured. So if we look here, um, we can see that we have certain areas in which we need to enter. And the first thing that we need to see here is the camera. So the camera is what we want to use. Let me just scroll down here. Okay, so these are all the permissions and everything down here. Let's just add the camera portion first so we could work with that. And we can just say camera ref is equal to cam ref and style is, this is just the width and height of the size on the actual a screen of our phone. So I'll make it 100 by 100. And I'll put the back camera here. And this width height, oh, I need the colon right there. I'm just going to save it right there. And that is part of the camera portion. And we're also going to actually put a permission part as well. But before we do that, I'm just going to test this out first. So let me try Expo Start and see what happens here. I'm just going to scan the QR code with my actual camera because I'm not sure if the camera on this computer using the... Um, server or the the server on my actual computer will actually work so let me just try on my cell phone here okay so it looks like um it does show up on the actual ios device but um the permissions are not set up so it's not even actually displaying anything in that 100 by 100 um width and height little box so I have to actually set up the permissions first. So let me do this right here above the return. All right, so we have this button here. It says get camera permission. And this should say no permission right there. Save it. Okay, there's a pop-up on here. Um, it needs um, permission. I'll click allow. Okay, so it looks like it works now on the camera. Don't worry about the red part down there. But um, this is the basic setup in order to actually get the camera working on your actual phone. So this is just the first part of setting up the camera on your phone or on an, on an iOS device or Android device. We just need to make sure we have the right permissions for the camera. I'm just going to see if the Android Studio actually works with the camera on. So I'll see what happens if I do this here. I'll just reload the app right here.
Alright, so it looks like on this computer it's asking for camera permission. I'll click on it, see if it works on the actual laptop. Take pictures. Okay, let's just say only this time. Okay, I'll try clicking the button again. Yeah, so this is just like I expected. Um, it looks like nothing is showing right now because this is not a real um, phone right now, so it doesn't really know what to look at. Uh, let me just close. So this iOS app right here, or an uh, Android app here, simulator on the actual computer, does not work because it's not able to detect a real camera on here. Um, so it has to be on your actual phone in order to get this set up properly. But we can see that when you test it out on your actual phone, this code will work to set up the basic setup of the camera. And now we just need to know how to capture the image, take a photo, and then upload it onto and then upload it onto Firebase.